It's week two and I'm studying in the study lounge by the lockers. We have a couple online classes and then we have an endo lecture at 12 to 3. Just finished our endo, three hour endo lecture for third year. And now I'm headed to help set up for our Guts at LA workshop. It's a beautiful day out and I'm stuck inside again. Dental student. So do I need initial bleaching so you can come in on an angle? Uh, and then straighten up. Do you see how much I'm trying to do And look how stable my hand is. Some people hold the mirror like this. There's no tactile sensitivity. I can't adjust my hand. There's like one further back. Three, four, three, five. Near the, the labial frenum. That bit of soft tissue there. Just one or two mils. It's all I'm trying to visualize the right? Same side. It is very tough. It's Tuesday, week two, and I am studying yet again in a PBL room and I just got my pediatric model and so so I figured we could open it. Here we go. Got another screwdriver. It's like my twelfth one. All wrapped up. It's really hard to do with one hand. <laughs> Kids, brush your teeth. <laughs> so it looks like these ones come with cavities that we get to fill. So, awesome. That crown is. I mean, I, would, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to use that cavities because look at everyone's got to see it. Yeah. Is it a number three? So gross. I'm done. Just have to try it. Rinse and dry. <laughs> and it stays so bad. Okay, so it's the end of day two of week two. Uh, it's seven o'clock at night and just got out of my late night endo. So we got some new tools <laughs> and materials. So we have some gutta perca and paper points for endodontics. So this is what you dry and then fill your root canals with. We got some needles and two different sizes of syringes, a three mil and a five mil. That's for basically rinsing the canals out. We got a whole bunch of files. We have the KF files and they're all color coordinated and organized. HF25 and KF31. So the, the number is different lengths and KF versus HF is like a different style of file. So they have different um, uses. And then we have the endodontic ruler. So this is how you measure the length of your file. We went through our tools that bought before. So the different burrs that you use to prep your um, pulp chamber with and prep the beginning part of your root canal before you use the files. And then these are a whole bunch of different fun things, mostly for use in the pop chamber. So, 
yeah, went through what all of those were. Got an extra thing of dental dams because isolation in the mouth is important. Uh, we also got a couple of um, hand spread or finger spreaders and another special tool in there. I can't remember what it's called, but it's used to put like medicaments, which is kind of like um, a thing that helps with disinfection <laughs> um, between appointments. So that's those. Um, yeah, the different, I think I already talked about this, the different burrs for your pulp chamber and then this nifty model set. Okay, so here's the, the model. And this, these spaces are so that you can use a special like putty and you put your real tooth into the putty and it fits into that area. So that's how we can practice doing endodontics on a real tooth. So yeah, the organization of these files is what I decided to stay late to end finish. So there's the different colors that are for the different sizes. You can kind of see them on the ends, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then those colors, this is the best part about endodontics. People are brilliant, so they have these different colors. And that lines up with the different colors of gutta perca points and paper points. So they're color coordinated. Thank you, endodontists. <laughs> so, I've been organizing all of that and trying to get it in my box, but between different stuff that we've been doing for crown preps <laughs> and endodontics and eventually starting peds, I might need to get a second box for some of this um, different materials and equipment because my box doesn't hold everything. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, yep, yeah, this is the Tuesday. So don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film in this lab because they're really strict on our ability to use our phones. It's a cleanliness thing to do with, since we're um, using real human teeth, <laughs> which I guess it makes sense. Um, but today we started with handing in our real human teeth that we collected over the break. So we dried them and stuck them in the sanit sanitization bags and they're going to be sent out for gamma radiation. And then the rest of the class, we went through all of the different materials that we will be using. And we're gonna have a test on it next week. So we had to have, we have to have this prepped and we have to know what the tooth morphology is for the one one and what the inside will look like. So we kind of have to know about the shape and location of the pulp, which makes sense because that's what we're trying to target and clean out. So I'm going to pack up this box, stick it in my teeny tiny little locker and go home because I'm tired. <laughs> Gee, computer like we do. <laughs> All right, so it's the beginning of week three for the dental students. So technically week negative two. I have a couple lectures on in the theater and then a how to properly put on surgical scrubs. So it should be an interesting day today.
So just got out of the clinic, did a little stab lab, got to practice the maxillary technique. So I got to anesthetize Marielle and it went okay. <laughs> the tutors never know how to direct a left-handed person when they're righties. So yeah, Dr. Dost had a little bit of a time trying to figure out what he would do if he was me. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it was fun. Ended up doing uh, a buckle infiltration, which is like doing one tooth kind of up here. We did the greater palatine, which is back there. <laughs> then we went to one incisal teeth. And that anesthetizes his anterior teeth on the inside. Yeah, it went pretty good. She did me and I think she was better. It's really hard because the syringes are really wide, so your hands are really far apart. So going slow is really difficult. So hopefully figure that out in, out in the future. Good evening. So it's Thursday night now. <laughs> I look really shiny. I just finished my first 12, almost 12 hour day. So I had fixed pros in the morning and I made my first temporary crown. Still have to polish it, but it looks pretty good. Came off the first go and it was one of the only ones like that. And then we had removable pros. So I finished my custom trays and got all of my models signed off on. And then I was doing an articulation, got the bottom really well done, but I messed up the top. So I have to re-pour the stone model and then do it again. <laughs> Yay! So yeah, just heading back now. Yeah, so three hours, hour break, three hours, hour break, three hours. And now I'm just about home, 7.30. Ooh, so just left. It's Friday and we had double clinic. So this afternoon we did mandibular injections on each other. So we did an IAN block and a long buckle. So back home now. Uh, I was like walking uh, in the rain and then there was people that kept coming down the sidewalk so I stopped talking. So today we had a really interesting day. That, so we got into clinic and we were doing uh, lower freezings on each other, so in the mandible. And we had to do four specific shots on each other. Yep, did it did all of the blocks and anesthetization without any issues on my partner. Um, she always has a dickens of a time uh, <laughs> doing anything on me because I have a really overactive tongue and I also have a gag reflex that's quite bad. So we had to work together so that she can anesthetize me. Um, but ended up working all good. Then we checked our titanium, so that's our patient manager system, and we both got patients, so uh, over the lunch break we kind of flipped through and looked at who our patients are, uh, some of the radiographs and stuff, uh, medical history. We went back in the afternoon, so last Friday I got to put uh, rubber dam and practice clamping on Marielle, so she got to do it for me and it was an experience. <laughs> Our setup, we were missing one of the premolar clamps. So she used the one that she had and she clamped this tooth and she was isolating from there all the way to the other side. So she flossed it in. It looked absolutely beautiful. She did a great job. Then she went to get the tutor and <laughs> the, the clamp wasn't quite the right size so it shot off and I just burst out laughing. She was devastated because it looked absolutely wonderful and the tutor didn't end up getting to see it before it shot off. Dr. Crew and one of the professors in the other bay could hear us, me laughing really hard so he, his head popped over to the bay to see what was going on and 
yeah, me and Mary all end up having a pretty good time in, in clinic. We got it all figured out and yeah, it was good. It was a good day. And then we went back up to talk more about patients. So now we're back home and yep, yeah, gonna chill, take the night off, I think, because the last week has been quite intense and excited, excited to get into the clinic and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun year. So end of week, eight of two. <laughs> So third week, our last week of foundation, our foundation week is officially over. 